What's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcoming Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. And in this video, I want to quickly go over what are, in my opinion, the top 10 most useful summonable LRs in this Sorry, did I say LRs? I meant SRs. <laughs> top 10 most useful summonable SRs that are worth keeping in this game. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because I get asked this question a lot. A lot of newer players especially are like, hey Tiger, you know, I'm running out of box space and I'm not really sure whether I should keep all of these random SRs that I pull. And I'll start off by saying that most of them are probably not worth keeping. Most of them are just Baba food, but there are quite a few SRs in this game that are actually pretty useful for certain situations. And especially if you're a newer player, some of them can actually be very good subs for specific teams. So in this video, hopefully I can help those of you who are a little bit confused right now and are really sure which SRs to keep, which ones to Baba. And uh, we're just gonna jump right into it. But actually, before I start that, <laughs> I want to make it clear that this is not in any way a complete list of all the useful or good SRs in this game. There are a lot of them, but this is just a quick little like list I threw, uh, threw together in like the last 10-15 minutes. So just don't think of this as the be-all end-all for all SRs you should keep in this game, and we're good to go. So without further ado, now let's jump into the list of SRs that I compiled. So we're gonna start off with a fairly popular one that I think a lot of people already know is worth keeping. Of course, I'm talking about Int SR Chiaotzu. And you might be asking me, yo Tiger, like what, what was this guy useful for? Why do you wanna keep him? His leader skill is crap. His super attack is awful. He does like no damage whatsoever, but <laughs> it's really his passive that makes him super, super clutch for a lot of different situations. It says, may stun all enemies, right? But the way he actually works is that the first time that he appears in a rotation for a fight, he actually stuns the entire enemy field. So it says may, but it's actually 100% chance guaranteed. And you don't have to do anything. Literally, as soon as he pops up the first time, he will stun the entire enemy field. And this is super useful, as you can imagine, for things like World Tournament, where you're afraid to take super attacks from the enemy, because when you're at 30x, that could be a one-hit KO. Or for Super Battle Road, when you're trying to avoid attacks, he can actually act as like a free ghost usher in a sense and uh, a lot of different situations where you just kind of need that stun to be guaranteed this guy will provide that for you unfortunately he can't do anything else beyond that so after that one turn he just basically becomes dead weight right he can't do damage he can't tank for you he can't do anything but just for the fact that he has that guaranteed stun makes him extremely extremely useful and he's one of the first units that i mentioned when people are asking me what SRs you should keep because he's just so useful for that one ability. So there we have it guys for the stun, for the world term usability, for Super Battle Road and so on and so forth. SR Int Chiaotzu is first on this list. We're gonna move on now to a very similar character actually. So this guy, Tech Jocko, exact same thing, exact same usability for him. So again, it says may stun all enemies and he does the same thing as Chiaotzu. He can't do damage, he can't tank or anything like that, but the fact that they're different units means that you can actually run both of them on the same team. So most of the time, like 99% of the time when I'm doing World Tournament, I'll have both Jocko and Chiaotzu on the team so that they can both get that stun off on alternating turns. And uh, also the fact that they're different types means that they're useful for different teams, right? So for Super Battle Road, we can only bring one type. You can use Jocko for the Tech team and Chiaotzu for the Int team, of course. So there you go, guys. Tech Jocko is number two on this list for the exact same reasons that I mentioned for Int Chiaotzu. But I wanna be clear that this list isn't really in any particular order. I kinda just listed them in the order that I thought of them. But without further ado, let's move on to the next one. And at number three, we have SRAGL Bardock. Now, this unit in its SR form isn't really crazy, like it's okay, but attack plus 50% when performing a super attack isn't anything too impressive. But the reason he's on this list is because he gets a very good Dokkan Awakening. So, let's take a quick look here. You need 21 of these SSJ3 Bardock medals to awaken him, and he actually awakens into AGL Super Saiyan 3 Bardock and in this form he's actually a very good Super AGL unit extremely good as a sub on a Super AGL team or any other team they can run him on if you don't have the in Super Saiyan 3 Bardock and uh, yeah he's just really solid for a unit that is not necessarily free to play but close enough because you can summon him so often on any banner that you try to pull other units on and his passive becomes attack plus 80% when performing a super attack, which is very good. And defense plus 80% as well for 5 turns from start of turn. So he can do a little bit of damage, he can also tank a little bit for you. 
and overall it's just a very solid solid unit and he's also a super saiyan 3 category leader as well uh providing super saiyan 3 units as well as agl int and physical type units with key plus 2 hp attack defense plus 40 percent now i know that's not like super good by any means but if you don't have in super saiyan 3 bardock like me and you still really want to run a super saiyan 3 category team then you still have a kind of leader in him i almost forgot to mention that he also has extremely good links super saiyan over in a flash prepare for battle fierce battle and he also fits in four different categories super saiyan 3 resurrected warriors pure saiyans and time traveler so overall just a very solid unit especially for one that token awakens from an sr so there you have it sr agl bardock at number three on the list moving on we got SR Hoy, and this guy is just a very solid extreme support unit. He gives all extreme allies key plus 2, attack and defense plus 20%. So if you don't have some of those other summonable extreme supports out there like Int Meta Cooler for example, then this guy is actually a very solid replacement for them. And he also has a medium chance to stun the enemy, which I guess is a little added bonus, but aside from that he doesn't do much else. But if you are one of those people or a newer player who doesn't have those extreme supports for your extreme teams, then this guy will be very, very useful for you. So there you go, SR Hoy. Number five, we have this SDR Buff Boo. And of course, I feel like people know him as the fodder for the Int Kid Boo and all the other Kid Boos because he does Dokkan Awaken into a Kid Boo, but he's actually not just useful for that. So of course, he does have a Dokkan Awakening, as I just mentioned, into this sexy kid Boo here. But if you look at his skills and everything, he's actually a solid unit. So his passive gives him attack and defense plus 70% and also disables the enemy's guard, which means that he will be able to do quite a bit of damage and also do a little bit of tanking for you as well with that defense buff. His links are pretty good. He's also in three different categories. So if you are missing some units for any of those categories or for extreme SDR, he's actually not a bad unit to throw in one of those teams. So there you have it. SR Buff Boo or Sexy Boo, depending on which form you're talking about, and I actually think he's quite good. So that's number five on the list. Moving on, we have AGL SR Thouser, and just like Hoi, he actually becomes a very solid support unit, but in his SR state, he only gives AGL and tech types key plus one, and you're like, that's whatever, but once he gets his Dokkan Awakening, that becomes AGL and tech types key plus two, attack and defense plus 20% which is the same buff that Hoi provides except to all extreme allies so as far as extreme supports go I think Hoi is a bit better but this guy in theory could provide super AGL and super tech types with the support as well if you need it so I think they're both good support units in their own way and that's why this guy also made it on the list so I believe that was number six moving on to number seven now we got SR Gokua sky splitting sword Gokua. Now on the surface, he doesn't seem that special. I mean, he has an orb changer, which is okay. He gets attack plus 20%, which is very low. So why did he make the list? Well, in my opinion, he's extremely, extremely useful for world tournament because he changes AGL spheres to SDR key spheres. And with world tournament, most of the time you're solely relying on your LR Broly or your STR EZA Broly and those guys need a lot of key to get their supers off and it's hard to get supers off because you can't use that second brand leader skill. So having a unit like Gokua that can change those orbs into STR and save you that orb changing item, I think it's super useful and because of his usability in world tournament, I feel like he deserves a spot on this list. And it's just super useful that's that's all i really got to say and i personally run him on my world tournament teams pretty often and i see a lot of other people running this gokua as well so if you guys have been wondering why you see some enemy teams that you're fighting with gokua there that's the reason because he can change those str key spheres and he also does have an extreme z awakening sorry a dokkan awakening but the dokkan awakening isn't really that crazy like he still retains the orb changing mechanic and now instead of 20 percent attack he gets 30% attack and defense, which I guess helps a little bit, but you're really not using him for the tanking or the damage. You only want him for that orb changing ability and it's super useful. So that's why Goku is on this list. That's why he's number seven here. And we're gonna move on to number eight now. 
Number eight on this list, we have Physical State of Calmness Weiss. Now, before he got his Dokkan Awakening, he was one of those SRs that I was telling people to Bob. I'm like, it's okay, you're not missing out on much. Just sell him for that 100 Bob points and you'll be fine. But once he got his Dokkan Awakening, he actually became very, very useful. So let's move on over here. He becomes a flexible thinking Weiss, and his leader skill goes to physical types, key plus two, HP, attack, and defense plus 50%, which isn't anything special, but it's it's okay. His super attack causes supreme damage with a chance to stun the enemy, and I believe that chance is about 30%, which isn't bad at all. And his passive is now attack and defense plus 40% when HP is 30% or above, which eh. And this is the important part, fully recovers HP when HP is 30% or below. So that's the thing that makes him the most useful because he essentially is a free Senzu Bean, a free Dende, gives you that free full heal when you need it the most. And this is super, super clutch on events like Super Battle Road or for Boss Rush, especially that second stage that's super, super long. I remember back in the day, it took me like an hour plus to beat it. I'm sure you guys will do better than I did, but if you guys are struggling with Boss Rush or Super Battle Road, consider throwing this guy on your team and he can make all the difference because, you know, on those stages, items are scarce, right? You want to use those items as effectively as possible and having that extra Senzu Bean or Dende on your team in the form of this Whis is super, super helpful. So there you go, guys. SR Physical Whis, another very useful SR that I feel like people should keep. Next up, we have White Hot Face Off Super Saiyan Goku. And a lot of you probably recognize this guy because he's been around for a very, very long time. And you've probably bobbed a lot of copies of him as well, but I would recommend everyone to keep at least one copy of this card so that you can awaken him into his final form, which is actually a Super Saiyan God Goku. So let's move down here. And his first Dokkan Awakening, oh, by the way, he has two Dokkan Awakenings. So in his first Dokkan Awakening, becomes State of God, Super Saiyan God, Goku, and he gives STR and physical types, attack plus 20%, which isn't that impressive, you're like, it's whatever. But once you awaken him into its final state, which is Fateful Strike, Super Saiyan God, who also happens to have very awesome art, by the way, one of my favorite arts in this game, he gives physical and STR types key plus two, and attack plus 25%. So in my opinion, that's a very, very good buff, especially if you don't have better super supports out there. If you need a support unit for your super physical team, or even Realm of Gods, or Pure Saiyans, or whatever, even though it's a little bit limited, as you can see, only physical and STR types, then, he can do some good things for you. So that is White Hot Face Off. Is that what it's called? White Hot Face Off? Uh, SR Goku. Definitely worth keeping in my opinion. Definitely, definitely useful in his final form. Now, last but not least, we're gonna pay homage to a man that has been a little bit shafted recently, but you know, he still has a lot of love for me and I'm sure a lot of people still have a lot of respect for this unit. AGL SR Devil Man. <laughs> so, for those of you who don't know what he does, um, he is notorious for one reason and one reason alone. His passive has an ultra rare chance to grant a deadly power to super attack, which means an insta-kill, essentially. He has a 1% chance to insta-kill the enemy with his passive, and it will do like 999999, whatever, whatever the max damage is, you can do that, right? But the thing is, he's recently been, been nerfed a little bit because what people used to do is take him on those Extreme Z Awakening battles or Extreme Z battle stages like SJ3 Goku or uh, I don't know, Family Kamehameha or whatever stage they couldn't beat and use this guy and just try to proc his passive every single time. Just repeat the stage over and over and over again. It doesn't cost any stamina anyways, right? So people would just keep trying to get this guy's passive to proc to insta kill the enemy and for those of you for those people who had like a lot of patience and a lot of time they could actually clear level 30 get all those medals that they wouldn't have been able to normally by using devil man but recently with the newer dokkan or extreme z awakening events they've nerfed him by limiting his attack potential i think um for like the kid boo and for the sj3 vegeta devil man can only do a max of like 2 million damage or something like that beyond a certain level which sucks in my opinion they should have kept his passive because let's be real man like if people have the patience they have they have the perseverance to take this guy over and over and over again to to various levels to try to get that passive off it's a one percent chance right then i think they deserve to be able to get those medals man if they're willing to put in all that effort but anyways that's besides the point 
um, it's just something that kind of kind of bothered me, <laughs> and um, I mean that that's that's the reason why I'm putting Double Man here because technically, if you think about it, he has the potential to be the hardest hitting unit in this entire game, guys, <laughs> and uh, I, I just think that it's awesome that. I mean, I enjoyed the meme a lot, I, I'll be honest, I enjoyed the meme a lot, and that's why I'm putting him on this team. And also, if people happen to pull him, I want them to to, to be sure, to, to know that you don't want to bother this man because of what he can- He's the only unit in this game that has that ability, that ultra-rare chance to grant a deadly power troop attack, that insta-kill ability, so even if he can't be as useful as he used to be, I think he's still worth keeping and worth having in the collection, and uh, we gotta give the man the respect that he deserves. Also, I think he's still useful, I think he still can be used for SSJ3 Goku and some of the older Extreme Z battle events that weren't, that, that, that didn't nerf him. And also, if you're having trouble maybe with, uh, with some Dokkan events, you can try using him to nuke the enemy as well. Not really sure how well that would work, but <laughs> for like longer fights, but it's an option, right? Either way, Double Man had to make this list, there was no other option, and I think that there's no better unit to end this list off with as well. So that's pretty much going to do it for my top 10 summonable SRs that are useful and should be kept. I, I'm, I'm sure the title that I came up with for this video later on is going to be much more concise and uh, sound a little bit better. but. There you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of all these SRs I talked about, whether you agree or disagree with my list, and uh, also what other SRs do you think are out there that are that are also useful that people shouldn't baba. I didn't include. I, I, didn't, I didn't make this list based off of what units can be used to raise super attack of other units, which I know a lot of other YouTubers have done in the past. For this one, I wanted to focus mainly on just the SR themselves as units and whether or not they can actually be useful for you. So it's a little bit of a different list from what, at least the ones I've seen recently. Um, so yeah, that's gonna do it for the video, guys. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you found it useful. And as always, if you guys liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me and you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you're gonna stay up to date with all of my latest content. And that's gonna do it for me. I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.